Henry the Green Engine. What can we all say about the dude? Some of us haven't really seen Henry before. Others, well, not too much. However, others, like myself, haven't got the chance to know him that much. Until later, a few years afterwards, I then learned more about the big green engine and who he once was. A long time ago, Henry was never always a Black Five. He was an experimental engine created by a mysterious designer whose name was never mentioned. After the fact controller bought him, he began to experience a bit of pain somewhere in him. Not really pain says, ouchie mama. It's like a long time to steam up, get ready, not able to build up steam that properly since he was an experimental engine. And let's not forget the saddest part of all. The poor guy was sadly not too useful. The plans were discarded after all, since they were designed by none other than Sir Nigel Gresley. Like I said, they were plans, but scrapped. Until the mysterious designer showed up, took them, and built his own engine only to find out it was a waste of time. The design clearly looks like half of an Atlantic NA-1. Or if you're a fan and think Gordon's face is not the A-1, the A-3. Anyways, after a flying kipper crash, he was then rebuilt into the Black Five we all know and love. Many mysteries on that one, anyways. But what the heck am I talking about Henry for? Reason is because reasons. Such as today's custom spotlight. So we all know that I already have made old shape Henry. Two times, actually. The first one on my first channel, the second one being on this channel. But then there was a third one, which was a big old waste of time. Reason is because it was a Henry, just given the Gordon shell. It did run, but it was pretty much a bit of a sad waste of time. Anyhow, if you want to see what that old Chip Henry looks like as of now, here it is. As you can clearly see, it has been sprayed. And it's mainly based off the TV series version of him, as well as Gordon. Like I said, you can clearly see that the entire thing is almost based off Gordon. Considering the fact that he was made the same time as Gordon. Sadly though, this one didn't really survive the test of time very well. Reasons are because one, I'm a bit disappointed in the lining. Granted, the numbers are perfect, but the lining is a bit sad on the, on the model. Second of all, there's already beginning, it's already beginning to have a few marks on the foot plate just because it's been painted too much. Third, he has black wheels even though he's supposed to have green wheels, which I find pretty sad to me. Four, the face is actually just Gordon. Yeah, just try to make it look like Henry, but 
It's not too convincing if you actually see it close up. But that's when I decided to make the next version of Head Old Shape Henry, which flat out sucked until this year. And no, I'm not going to use this for any remix or videos whatsoever. It's already been replaced with another old Chip Henry. This one being much more better. This bad boy. That's right, I finally made another old Chip Henry. I know it's Trackmaster 2, but trust me, it's the only thing I can actually have. Besides, for starters, Trackmaster 2 is sometimes the easiest customs to customize. Not to mention that sometimes Trackmaster 2 actually works out better than actually having to use the official Trackmaster. I would get the official custom made by custom Trackmasters, but it might be expensive, and for second of all, he, I might have to get one in the future. But this is the Railway Series version of Old Chip Henry, so... Yeah. So... This old shape Henry has been given tons of modifications. I guess, like all the others, it was made from a Gordon. More updates I gave to him were, for starters, I gave him a brand new window. No strike on the cab, though. Not to mention brand new handrails, which were actually painted not by silver, but just by regular, like, gray. I was even able to actually not paint stripes on the wheel arches or the firebox. Another update I gave to him was that now he has green wheels which is actually pretty nice since i've actually never painted green on another or another color on the wheels before some of the engines i actually have sometimes have just black wheels gray wheels probably maybe even a bit of blue wheels mainly bucky okay maybe not bucky his wheels are turquoise, anyways. I even had a handrail to the window of the cab, which was actually pretty nice. Tender modifications equal the lining to actually be accurate, thin, no mess ups, green wheels, no number. Referencing the Railway series. And, not to mention that it also has red on the footplate. Well, I think the undercarriage. Something. No, not the undercarriage, not the undercarriage. But yeah, perfectly painted. You can see a bit of blue from Gordon's wheels in the inside of the uh, tender, but uh, it's the least thing to do.
I then had a bit of help from my mom to chop off the face for Gordon, which accidentally left in a pretty bad scar on my head. I have to say that. Fortunately, I was able to fill it in with some putty, and now it works as a simple fix. As for the face, I was able to mold the entire thing in clay. Fortunately, I got the face mold from a Trackmaster 2 Henry, as was another Henry, and now we have brand new faces for Henry in case I want to swap them and or probably give him a temporary face. The rest of the details equaled black footplate, matte black for both the footplate and the smoke box, not to mention the front of the, of the tender and probably the back. Coal black for the coal, weathering, sprayed, gray buffers, yada yada yada. The face was actually a pretty easy mold to do. I had some uh, putty around and then used the putty to actually make a face mold for Henry. And then the making the face was actually pretty easy with the help of Sculpey 3 clay and a bit of tools. I was able to make three faces for now. One being the regular cheery happy face for Henry. The million dollar smile face for Henry, that being his classic wide open mouth teeth smile face. And his sad face. More on the way. So that's it for Old Shape Henry. It's not the best of shapes just like this Henry, but we have so many theories about the, about the dude. So many theories that we don't even know about on the guy yet. These theories include him coming at the same time Croven and and Will. These theories include this, if he came the same time as Croven and Alfred, or theory saying that he's not actually been rebuilt, but that he has been replaced with another engine. Whatever we know, it's a mystery. But for now, we have the innocent Black Five we all know and love. Thank you all for watching, everyone, and see you in the next custom spotlight.